ようこそ。勉強ボーへ。Welcome to 勉強ボー Today, we will find once and for all the number one learning resource for Japanese, or at least the most popular one on Twitter. Also on Twitch. Anyway, a little confusing. We'll break it down. By the way, this amazing intro music for Ben Kyo Bowl is brought to you by John Madden Football 92 for the Sega Genesis. A classic. We need something that reaches the hype of Ben Kyo Bowl. The only music I can think of was、uh, John Madden 92. So let's go. Let's find out between Genki, Take Him, Wani Kani, and Anki. Through all the playoffs, four resources remain. Which. Will rise and be the number one most popular Japanese resource in 2020 for this, the first ever Benkyo Bowl brought to you by Japanese Quest. Also, Yokoso, Japanese Quest, and welcome to Japanese Quest. Let's do it! Before the Super Bowl, before the Kitten Bowl, there is Benkyo Bowl. And just want to highlight why we're doing this Benkyo Bowl. It's like the Super Bowl, this is at the bottom there. But instead of becoming a fan of a team and getting disappointed all the time, so I'm a Minnesota fan, in Benkyo Bowl, you become a fan of a team and learn a language. So maybe someone watching today can become a fan of one of these teams or all of these teams. I should point out, a lot of these resources can be combined. So it's kind of for fun and kind of find which one is the most popular, most useful to people widely right now. Okay, so. Really quickly, let's jump into the game and say hello to everyone joining us for b e n k y o Bowl. We'll be running around a bit in Breath of the Wild today, just as we were for the playoffs before. We voted in 10 categories to find the most useful resources for learning Japanese that currently exist. Everyone, welcome Slig Storm, Ate So, Saimu, Verdant. Welcome, everyone. So, today we'll be talking in chat about your opinions on these resources. Many people here, I'm guessing, have used one or two or three or all four of these resources Genki, Take Him, the finalists, Genki, Take Him,、uh, Wani Kani, and Anki. Just in chat, can we, get, can we get a show? How many of those have you used? Just put a number. If you used one of them, two of them, three of them, or four. Myself, I've used three of them. So, I'm going to put a number three. So, how many of those? Just a quick in chat, how many have you used? Becca has used two. Saimu has used one of all those different resources. Gamer has used one. Ateso has used one. Swatfire has used two. I'm guessing there's a lot of people that have actually used all four at different times in their journey. At least a bit of all four, maybe. So, the power level is really 2020? Yes, it is. We went really hard. We traveled through time to get to this power level. It took a while, but we got here. Today, the focus will be more on、uh, this Benkyo Bowl. So, before we jump in, we have to see the winners for all the playoff rounds that got down to this final four. So, let's take a look at the winners. Let's go to our browser cam and、uh, scroll down a bit here. So, if you look at our Twitter, Japanese Quest Twitter, if someone wants to do that command, exclamation point Twitter, you can do that.、Um, you can look at this list of all the polls that led us here. The goal was simply to find the best Japanese resources that currently exist in 2020. Now, the culmination for the finalists has developed into Benkyo Bowl. Benkyo, of course, means to study. Benkyo Suru, to study. So, we're combining Twitch. And Twitter, Twitcher, it's all very advanced. And、uh, the first question was the best kanji resource, Wani Kani won. So they made it into b e n k y o Bowl, such a commanding lead. By the way, the four finalists, not super scientific, but these four just kept coming up, which is why they are the four finalists today. So the best Japanese reading resource, actual books won.、Um, you can see the second places.、Uh, Yeah, the nominees might be good to see too, or at least the second place. Is Kanji Study App a strong second for the best Kanji resource? In fact, I've heard some people got the Kanji Study App after watching the stream before, so that's really good to hear. This is a very useful app that's only, I think, like $13 versus Wani Kani, which lifetime is $300, but monthly, I think, is 
I want to say like nine dollars, something like that. Um, we'll find out later. So number one reading resource, actual books. Second was easy news and video games. The best vocab resource by far, Anki, Cutting the Grass and this game we're playing, Breath of the Wild. That was second. Uh, kind of a joke answer, Anki. Huge dominance, so that also entered into Benkyo Bowl. Take Him, the next entry in Benkyo Bowl. Won easily for the best grammar resource. Very popular as a grammar resource. Uh, reading all the time, also popular for grammar. For investing $50 in Japanese learning, Genki and or RTK books. So basically textbooks won. So this is where Genki, this and another question, made, made their way into Benkyo Bowl. The best starter manga, by far, Yotsubato won. And our halftime show for Benkyo Bowl will be Yotsubato versus Animal Crossing. Both dominant winners in their media category, but we must see the number one media for Japanese learners. We'll find what that is today during the halftime show. Animal Crossing will battle Yotsubato, so stay tuned for that. Uh, for Japanese book, best starter book, graded readers won by far. By the way, if you want to find graded readers, there's a great post I made earlier. Um, I, I'll probably post that in the comments later here, but uh, there's a good guide on graded readers. If you Google it, you may find it, but we got to keep moving on for Benkyo Bull. Again, Take Him dominates again. So Take Him for sure needs to be in Benkyo Bull because the best starter resource for starting day one with Japanese, Take Him beats out Japanese classes, Duolingo, and Human Japanese. It's the other dom nominees there. Uh, Genki wins for other options, so I wonder head to head Take Him Genki could be interesting actually. Um, for best podcast, Hikibiki won. Second, Nihongo Kom Teppe. So we got a bell. So some people liked our tweet that we made for Benkyo Bowl here. Let's get back to the game. What does the scouter say about his power level? And uh, yeah, actual books, it turns out, are popular. <laughs> and so what we're going to do now is we are going to tweet this final battle for Benkyo Bowl between these four resources. And uh, as people are voting on them on Twitch, you can join Twitch and vote. We will discuss one by one these different resources. At halftime, we will run the other poll. That is, after we've talked about two of the resources, we'll say it's halftime and talk about the other two. Nam proper, hosto, arigato. Yeah, Yotsuba dominated strong, but one that kept coming up that I didn't put on the poll at all was, uh, I think it's called Cheese Sweet Home. So maybe next year, if we do another Benkyo Bowl the initial nominees, Cheese Sweet Home, can possibly be one of them. Okay, so it's time. Let's go and do the tweet for Benkyo Bowl. And anyway, welcome everyone to Japanese Quest. Let's, I have this tweet already, so, so I don't have to write the whole thing. Uh, so this is it. After a fierce playoff round with dozens of great resources, it is down to four. Hashtag Benkyo Bowl. What is the best Japanese le learning resource that currently exists? That's the tweet. We'll have a second tweet after it just to make clear. By the way, as a Japanese teacher, I would be remiss if I did not point out that many of these resources can be used well together. The goal is simply to determine the most widely useful and popular resource for Japanese learners in 2020. And just to have fun, I'll add here. Enough characters to add everything. And then to see the playoffs we talked about, I'll make that link too. So this is going to be three tweets. You can link tweets on Twitter, a very useful function that they allow you to do now. So let's go to Twitter. New tweet. So Benkyo Bowl, we have this tweet ready. It fits. And uh, let's make sure we put the answers now. Four options. So after a fierce round with dozens of resources down to four, and the four are, first we'll have Genki. Genki is against Take Him. And I really don't know who will win. That's kind of why this is going to be interesting. Like, in a way, it doesn't matter. They're all good resources, but kind of like the Super Bowl, too. 
They're both great teams, but you still want to know who's going to win. Wani Kani, which crushed its category for Kanji, which kind of surprised me. Wani Kani is really popular now, which is cool to see. Okay, here we go. So you'll have one day to vote on this. Genki, take him, Wani Kani, Anki. That looks right. Chat, did that look right? Boss, konnichiwa. Cabbage, konnichiwa. All right, let's do it. Benkyo Bowl. The game starts now. Just as I'm being attacked in this game, it sounds like. Maybe let's uh, pause that for a second. Because we have a couple more tweets to add to that. Ooh, we got a follow by someone. Excellent. Yeah, if anyone wants to find us, Japanese Quest on Twitter. So now Benkyo Bowl is started. I'm liking Benkyo Bowl, so I gotta heart it. You can heart it too if you are into it. You can retweet it if you want to spread Benkyo Bowl around the internet. And uh, who will win between Genki, Take Him, Wanikani, Anki? You can vote there right now. And uh, let's see if I can, in chat, I'll make that link there. Ah, oh, Anbachas, Konnichiwa. We got that link. Find the Twitter. Vote. Wanikani jumps out to a fast lead. Hans Gamer. Yokoso, Japanese quest away. So Wanikani, will Wanikani win Benkyo Bowl? Will Genki win? Will take him win? All very popular, all very good resources. So which will win? Um, let's reply to this again with our caveat. Let's reply with, by the way, as a Japanese teacher, by the way, I'm a, my name is Akira Sensei, I am a Japanese teacher. So we got to make clear, by the way, These resources can be complementary. They can be used well together. The goal is simply to find the most popular resource on this day. Next time, next year, if we have a Benkyo Bowl again, who knows? Another resource could be crowned. So let's tweet that. And that's an important caveat, so let's heart that. I say, when in doubt, heart everything, because it's good to heart things. Wow, Wani Kani jumps out ahead, but everyone has votes. Ooh, we are going hard with Benkyo Bowl. Let's keep retweeting this. So everyone can vote as widely as we can get this Benkyo Bowl going, the more we will know the true winner of Benkyo Bowl. Okay, and we want to then, this thread, we have one more post here. So we have Japanese here. I recommend switching your Twitch to Japanese. Tsuika edition, so additional tweet. Betsu no tweet wo tsuika suru. Would you like to put on an additional tweet? And we do. We have one more, and that is to see the playoffs in 10 categories. And to be honest, this link is probably more useful overall than Benkyo Bowl, that poll itself. Because here you can see many different resources, how they rank by the Japanese community on Twitter and Twitch. And uh, let's tweet that out too, to see the playoffs. Because that's where Benkyo Bowl came from. To see the playoffs that led to Benkyo Bowl, click below. So you can click there. Again, if people retweet any of these, it'll have value because there's a lot of different good resources here that people can find. And then they'll find which one raises to the top here. Wow, Wani Kani is killing it. What? I'm surprised. Like, these are all great resources. I'm not dissing Wani Kani. Wani Kani is awesome. However, ooh, some good retweets here. Retweet. Arigato. So let's see. Benkyo Bowl is now started. And currently to an early lead, Wani Kani jumps out. You can imagine this is the beginning of the first quarter of Benkyo Bowl. Let's go back to the game, though, and we'll check in later to see how the voting is going. The say about his power level? Ah, konbanwa. Power level is 2020 and rising. And uh, let's... In the bottom right, you can see... The Benkyo Bowl question. So Boss says, I'm the opposite. I'm an English teacher in Japan learning Japanese. Ah, very cool. That's what I did too, though. I was an English teacher on the JET program in Japan and then became a Japanese teacher in the U.S. So Mbachi says, yeah, that's super weird. I don't know how Wani Kani could beat Anki. I thought everyone used Anki. I feel like part of it for this kind of poll, it could be that the winner will be whichever resource inspires the most passion. Not necessarily the most widely used, but 
just in chat, of the people who have used all four, how would you rank them? I will quickly say my ranking of the ones I've used the most. I won't say the ranking of the best because it's hard to say. But of the ranking of the ones I've used the most in my Japanese journey. For me, it would be Anki number one. Helped me to learn over 10,000 words before N1 and N2 of the JLPT. Just lots of vocab. Helped a lot with that. Number two, I'd say Genki, because that textbook I used in college when I was a student. So a good foundation of my Japanese started there. And then Take Him, I'd say third, because it's just a good reference for different grammar pieces and really good examples, breaking it down logically for certain confusing bits. And then Wani Kani I've not used, so I will not rank that for me. So let's see for the rankings here. Unboxing says for the ones I've used, I'd say Anki 1, Take Him 2, Wani Kani 3. Interesting. Haven't used Genki. So thanks for the ranking on Boxes. Becca says, I actually learned Katakana with Anki. Ah, cool. But found Wani Kani to be way more useful. See, I think that's why Wani Kani may win. For people watching right now, the easiest one to start right now after watching this is Wani Kani. From what I've heard. Because you can just start doing it. It's kind of all set up. The other ones, like a textbook with Genki, or a detailed website with Take Kim, or Anki, a kind of confusing flashcard app. It takes some learning. You kind of have to learn and do it all yourself in a way. You have to put the work in. But what I've heard with Wani Kani, you can kind of just start, kind of just do it. That's what I've heard. So yeah, it's very easy. I think it lowers the bar to just getting started, which sounds great for Japanese, which is also why Duolingo is popular. The reputation isn't as good as Wanikani, but a lot of people obviously use Duolingo as well just to get started. So JH says, we all like games here, so the gamification... Yeah, that's a great comment that I've heard from many people. The gamification on Wanikani is really strong. And so, yeah, seeing those first votes, I now think that there's a good chance Wanikani will win. Probably because of things like that, it's easier to start. It's easier in general. Um... The ease of use and the gamification. So Omadon, get good morning. Ah, yep. This is the most hype in a way, at least since we traveled through time, that I have been and that Japanese Quest has been for a while. Benkyo Bowl. By the way, that title I did not think of. I was thinking of going with something like Japanese Resource Super Bowl. That was my hashtag. Japanese Resource Super Bowl. But I talked to Kudi-sensei about the idea, who has been here on Japanese Quest before, and Kudi-sensei said, how about Benkyo Bowl? And I said, oh no, that's so good. Now I have to make a graphic and properly like advertise Benkyo Bowl. So thank uh, Kudi-sensei for Benkyo Bowl in this current form. Okay, so really quickly, we're gonna look through some of those resources one by one at halftime. We'll have a halftime show with, to vote on the best Japanese media that currently exists, and we'll check in on the score for Benkyo Bowl. So first we're going to talk about Genki, the textbook. So many people, if you take a college course of Japanese, let's see if I can get a camera here. Chotomatte. I have Genki book here. Okay. So here is the book Genki. For many Japanese college students, this is the textbook they use. I used it when I was a student in my college course. And uh, the thing it's really good for is their grammar explanations, in my opinion. Um, basically, they have a dialogue and uh, they've got key vocab but then what they it really shines with is the grammar explanations, in my opinion. So this is the most popular Japanese textbook that currently exists. I think it's around $40 on Amazon. And uh, by the way, welcome to Japanese Quest. Ooh, we can see the voting with this view. That's nice. Wani Kani still had Genki in second. So Genki is in second. If you want to go there, you can vote. Um, looks like Take Him, Anki may be tied for third at the moment with 11 votes currently. Um... So this is Genki, 
Let's see. I have Genki. Can confirm the grammar and it is good. Anyone else have any opinions on that? We got a sub from Yarnus. Subscriber. Arigato. Thank you for subscribing to this, uh... Benkyo Bowl and to Japanese Quest. Normally, we teach Japanese through video games. Today, something we've never done before. Benkyo Bowl, a bowl for studying. I thought there's a kitten bowl. There should be a bowl for studying. What is the greatest, or at least the most popular, Japanese resource? We'll find out throughout this Benkyo Bowl today. Okay, so really quickly, I'd like to look at some of the highlights of this Genki resource. So let's go back here to our browser cam. A couple tabs up. Looks like Wanikani is still ahead. Genki is in second. Let's just quick look at some of the top reviews. So the top one is actually somewhat critical. Better than most. Good review. Four stars. Overall, you can see 4.6. Great reviews. Uh, they mention some of the romanization is a little strange, but I think in most of the book, they actually use hiragana, not so much romanization. Um, easy to understand. I'm not going to read all of these. Self-study success with this. I have heard, though, um, some people find it would work better for a course, but not so well for self-study, maybe. But this person says, I use this and mina no nihongo. have to say, I prefer this one for self-studying. So from their perspective, they also recommend Japanese the manga way, which we've heard about recently for fun grammar. Um, so room for improvement, but we'll teach you the basic reading, writing, listening. Uh, great textbook. And uh, I wanted to highlight one thing too. This is a great guide people might not know about. So St. Olaf College, that's actually the college I went to, but that's kind of just neither here nor there. This just happens to be the best guide through the grammar of Genki. The way I found this, I just Googled St. Olaf Genki. So for Genki 1 and 2, this is a grammar index of all the grammar. Highly useful. If you want to Google and find this, I recommend you do that. Bookmark it. I have it bookmarked. Uh, for example, if you want to look at how to use the particle de, it simply breaks down the most important aspects that they have in Genki. So you can use the de particle with nouns that describe the means of transportation, the instruments you use. Here's the examples from Genki. So this is a very useful index to look through Genki books. Highly useful, highly recommend this. If we have this on YouTube later, I'll try to link this resource. Very useful. So let's go back to the game now. Vegeta, what does the scouter say about his power level? Power level still 2020. Um, so, konnichiwa. Saimu, Deteriorator, yeah. $40 a good price for a good textbook. Um, of course, the next thing we're going to look at is Take Kim, which is free if you use it online. So often people ask, which is better, Genki or Take Kim? We're going to look at both today. Any other opinions in chat? So Am Amadon says, I have Genki, can confirm the grammar that is good. Yeah, I, I recommend looking at that St. Olaf guide if you just... Google St. Olaf Genki, you'll find a great index for all the grammar elements there. I can't believe that in our poll before, Cutting Grass actually won second place behind Anki for the best grammar, or no, the best vocab resource in Japanese. Uh, Omodan says, I started with Take Him, got me through learning the kana, but it didn't really help my, keep my attention past that for some reason. Yeah, what I've really learned from hearing from people on Japanese Quest here is that everyone has a different experience. That's why I thought this poll, this Benkyo bowl could be interesting. Because it seems like each resource might motivate different people. For some people, the gamification of Wanikani is the strongest by far. For others, the textbook quality of Genki might motivate you. So Deteriorator says, I use Genki 1 and 2. But it really isn't good for self-studying, in my opinion. So yeah, the reviewer said it was, but I've heard other people say for self-studying, not so good. I agree. I think it's optimized for a class, like a college class. That's what it's optim optimized for. It's often used in high schools, too, though. Okay, let's look at our second resource and talk about Take Him now. 
Um, I have not used Minanoni Hongo myself. I see the comment there. So let's talk about Take Kim. Who has used Take Kim and what are your opinions about it? We'll look at a couple tabs about it. The Super Bowl has quarters. We have tabs. We saw the first tab, second tab. Let's go to the third tab on Take Kim. And then after the Take Kim discussion, we'll have halftime for Benkyo Bowl today. So let's look at Take Him here. So opinions can be shared on Take Him. Wani Kani, wow, crushing it. Wani Kani with a very strong start. All right, let's look at Take Him. Because you'll notice the reviews here, 4.5, almost as high as Genki. But the top ones are all five stars. So Blue Book. So basically a great book. Uh, so personally, my core set for learning Japanese, the cream of the crop best items is as follows. Genki 1 and 2, we already talked about that. He six remembering the kanji for learning kanji in two months. This person really likes that system. I've used it as well and can vouch for it, but it's not for everyone. Um, Take Kim's Guide, my cliff notes, great refresher for stuff you've learned. It's like the golden notebook you stole from that A plus student in college. I think this is a great review of all these resources. Then Japanese app by Renzo Inc. from Apple Studio. That, I don't know what it is, but it, based on these three, it's probably very good. Then Anki is an optional study element, supplement mentioned here. So this guide is Japanese language learner's best friend. Best way to study grammar, according to this person. A reference for every level. Yeah, they have a great starter guide too on Take Him. Um, some people didn't like the printing on the book. It's good, however. So they're like, no resource is perfect. That's kind of the point. You just gotta choose something and then just start studying and then do it every day. That's really how you learn a language. Uh, so this is the Take Him website. It's got side navigation, the way I'm framing the browser is kind of off to the side. But uh, basically, if you click on any of these, for example, here's essential grammar, a bit more advanced. Let's take a look at compound sentences, say. The real strength of Take Him is the the very clear examples of how things work, the clear breakdown, and then maybe more than anything else, the examples where things are highlighted and how to use them. So in some ways it's similar to Genki, what they do with grammar, but for some people, the explanations are even more logical and understandable and they, and they touch some areas that students have problems with that Genki might not touch. So let's go back to the game here. Daikon! Hosto! Arigato! Thank you very much for the host, Daikon. I think we hosted you last time, or rated you last time, Daikon, I believe. If it is THE Daikon that I'm thinking of. <laughs> oh, it looks like it is. Welcome, Daikon. Good to see you. So, Daikon. Of these four resources in Benkyo Bowl today, which ones do you have experience with? Between It's a battle between Genki... Take him, Anki, and Wani Kani. Daikon, which ones have you used? Because I know you have learned Japanese yourself too. None of them. Interesting. So yeah, some people have never used any of them. Yeah, perhaps you had a different intro to Japanese. Than some of the learners here. Oh, I only used manga and TV shows. So that's a great comment, actually, because we can realize these are some of the greatest resources or most popular, but you don't need to use any of them. You could use just manga and TV. You could make your own system. Or you could, I don't know, just talk to Japanese people and learn Japanese kind of like a Japanese kid would. Any other opinions in chat on Take Him? So Netforce says Genki's a bit more school class focused, well Take Him isn't right. Plus, it should be mentioned, Take Him is free. 
So because of that online, it's been used and it's probably made many, many more people familiar with Japanese than would be otherwise. Like I know a lot of people that went on to be Japanese teachers of note online, for example, the person doing MIA, Mass Immersion Approach, I believe, used Take Kim. I'm sure there's other people that used Take Kim. So things like Genki, Take Kim, all these resources can create and add to the speakers of Japanese in the world at large. So Games Fan says, I used Duolingo to get started on Kana. Ah, nice. And then played Pokemon Omega Ruby. The clean, large text made it easy to read. That's how it got cut kind of down. Ah, oh, great comment there. Gamer Buddy says, I used to learn kanji through grade. Yeah, it's good to see other ways of learning. Reminding us that even though these might be the most popular, or some of the most popular, there are resources beyond any we talk about here. It's good to see other perspectives. So let's check in on how Benkyo Bowl is doing. And we can have our halftime show now. Halftime show is Japanese media. So media is being talked about there just in time for our halftime show. Let's go back to our browser cam. And let's check in on how Benkyo Bowl is doing. By the way, retweet our Benkyo Bowl. We can spread Benkyo Bowl around and, and see how people are voting. Okay, so here we go. Let's look at the voting. So Wani County, wow, is still way ahead. Probably there's some split of vote between Genki and Take Him. Wani County running away with it so far with 17 votes in. Hmm, that's interesting. Okay, let's have our halftime show as well. So a new tweet, and let's find that tweet. I have it already here. Uh, so this, after a fierce playoff round with lots of great Japanese media, it is down to two. Two resources, two media resources. Pokemon was defeated by Animal Crossing, so Pokemon's not on here. Um, great manga like Polar Bear Cafe was defeated by Yotsubato. So it's down to two. So let's make this tweet. Let's make it a poll. The final showdown for this halftime show of Benkyo Bowl. Uh, Yotsubato, a great and a very popular manga for Japanese learners, and Animal Crossing. So Animal Crossing destroyed all the other video games and won by far, defeating Pokemon, defeating Dragon Quest, defeating, what was the last one? Well, it defeated everything. And then Yotsubato defeated DBZ, it defeated Polar Bear Cafe, it defeated the last one I'm not thinking of. So let's post our halftime show comment, go on Twitter. Again, let's... Uh, Let's post that so everyone in chat can jump over to our Twitter and vote. Just got to click to vote. Let's post that halftime show quiz. Take a look at it. So after a fierce round, what is the best starter media for Japanese learners? So take a look at that. Retweet it, like it if you want to, and vote for your pick. I'm curious. It's, it's in a way a battle between video games and manga. I'm curious what will win. I have no idea what will win. So Wanikani is still way ahead. And actually Wanikani is the next resource we'll look at and talk about in detail today on BenQ Bowl. Let's go back to the game. Back to... Vegeta, what does the scouter say about his power level? Breath of the Wild. By the way, this is a good game for Japanese as well. There is Furigana in this game. So Games Fan says, I'm betting Animal Crossing. Yeah, you you may be right. It will depend on how many votes there are and how wide it goes, possibly. But I'd say that our audience skews video games, so probably will be biased in that direction. So Jirafi says, I mostly just talk to Japanese friends. That's a great way, obviously, to learn as well. So books versus video games. Yeah, in that case, it's manga versus video games. So next, let's talk about the second half of Benkyo Bowl here, Wani Kani. So it's winning right now at this point in Benkyo Bowl. Remember, voting will be open for 24 hours. Uh, but for right now, it looks like Wani Kani may win with the early lead. 
So who here in chat has used Wanikani? I have not. So I can't say quite so much about it. But like we said before, it may win because people simply seem to love it. Because it, it's gamification, because it kind of does the, the work for you. It's easy to get started. It's easy to do when you might compare something to like Anki or a textbook. So Oregatron says, I use it. Deraniator, I use it and it's great. Can you say what you like about it exactly and why you think it's winning? Because it may win. So Dorm says plus one as well. Great. So you can vote on Twitter if you want for Wanikani or any of the other contestants. So JHO, big fan of Wanikani. I feel like for one thing, the marketing for Wanikani is great. The community seems great too, true. And even just the concept, Wani plus Kani, whoever came up with that, I don't really like to use the word genius, but it's kind of genius. Wani is alligator, Kani, crab. Who would think to combine those into a kanji app, Wani Kani? But for some reason, it's perfect. It has a great ring to it. And the logo they have is great as well. Okay, as you talk about Wani Kani in the chat there, let's take a look at it a bit more in our next, our third tab, at least. You can see Wani Kani still ahead. So let's go here to Wani Kani reviews. I just simply typed that into Google. You can see some of why people like Wani Kani. Is Wani Kani worth it? Because it is not free. It's the most expensive resource today, at least over time, potentially, because it's monthly. The lifetime subscription, I believe, is $300, but sometimes it's discounted to something like $200. The top review here I thought was quite useful, so let's take a quick look at it. So quick review, 4.1, don't really know what that means, but I kind of like this breakdown. So this quality, easy and fun to use so long as you don't fall behind in your lessons for Wanikani. Thoroughness, it won't teach you stroke order or too much grammatically, but provides you 2,000 kanji and 6,000 vocab words. Uh, by the way, this website is all language resources. You can see at the top, so find this website. Got to give credit where credit is due. Um, so basically, it's good for kanji and, and 6,000 vocab. So starting you in kanji and vocab, which is very important, obviously. It seems great for that. And then value. Wani Kani is constantly adding new material. So even if you finish all the kanji, there's more to learn. If you put in the effort, it's more than worth the money. All right, some things they like and don't like. If you skip a day, it's challenging. Same with Anki that we'll look at next. Some mnemonics are hard to remember. Um, not so much about grammar or speaking. What they really like, the stories make learning fun, keeps track of radicals and kanji, and uh, audio by native speakers, which sounds like a good thing. Price, month monthly subscription costs $9 yearly, 89 lifetime subscription 299 first three levels are free so if you want to try it right now visit wanikani you can just click on that and see what we get see i think this is one of the strengths of wanikani it's just it just looks good and it looks kind of easy so you see this it's just it's very inviting more so than like the confusing kind of on key layout this kind of does on-key flashcards for you in a way that seems easier to get started. I haven't done it again, but from Japanese residents to self-learners, our members learn to read Japanese quickly. They've got testimonials. So it just seems like a very attractive way to enter into it, more so than the other resources. Like it looks fun, it looks easy, and from what I've heard, it is all those things. Okay, let's go back to the game. Vegeta, what does the scouter say about okay, any more comments? Level? What do people like about Wani Kani? Uh, so I might have missed a comment up there about games. Let me quick go up and check it. If I can scroll up. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm not sure what that comment was or that word was that you mentioned. But uh, so for Dormados, I, I got my friend to start it. He liked, he said the mnemonics work great on Wanikani. So Deteriorator says gamification, SRS, mnemonics, interface, community, 
and kanji vocab lesson sizes are my main reason. So Joe Mama <laughs> says the first three levels are free if you want to give it a try, so that's another reason. Um, it's, an, it's nice the lifetime sub is discounted. Ah, okay. Then Boss says, thank you so much for the stream and the content. You help a lot. Arigato! Glad you like it. Yeah, this is kind of just a celebration of Japanese learning. There are so many Japanese resources, Japanese learning resources, we're kind of spoiled. And sometimes it feels overwhelming. So once in a while, to boil it down to a top few, just pick one and just kind of get started. That's kind of the purpose of this stream, this Benkyo Bowl. So good to hear that it's helpful to people. Uh, so we have one more resource to look at, Anki. So who here in chat has used Anki? Anki is the one that I have personally used the most. I stopped using it after I got to a vocab over 9,000, over 10,000. At a certain point, I just wanted to read and not do flashcards anymore. But doing flashcards, whether words or sentences, getting you up to a an N1 type of vocabulary, I think, in my opinion, Anki is the best thing there is out there for that kind of task. However, admittedly, getting started is more confusing than something like Wanikani. And it's probably not as gamified and rewarding as something like Wanikani. Uh, but it's certainly one of the most popular, maybe the most popular app for Japanese learners. I don't know the actual numbers. Uh, so yeah, that's the problem. It's, it is certainly more difficult to use and get started. So Gamer says, I use Anki. Omadon, uh, I use Anki every day. Uh, Boss says, I ha I've been looking at Anki, I haven't yet. Um, JHO, I use Anki, I always support for reading, take him vocab, Yotaba vocab. See, a lot of these things we're talking about today can be combined. I think the most common ones to combine are probably take him and Anki, because they're both free, unlike our other uh, entries today. Genki is $40, um, Wanikani $9 a month, but take him is free, Anki is free, unless you're using um, an iPhone, then it's not free. So for many learners learning for free, you combine those two, it's a very powerful combination. Take him can give you a strong foundation in Japanese grammar, and then Anki can help you learn a lot of Japanese vocab. So you have vocab, you have grammar. So really combining those is very common and a powerful combination for anyone listening for the first time. And of course, you could also combine that with a textbook like Genki if you want to get started, or probably Wanikani if you want to use that for kanji could be combined with Certainly take him for grammar, because Wanikani doesn't do grammar as much. But I've actually seen an Anki deck for Wanikani items, I think. Speaking of that, let's take a look at some of those. Um, yeah, a combination of resources certainly yield the best results, but sometimes picking one to get started can be a good way to just dip your foot in. But yeah, we often talk about you want to learn Japanese with a lot of different sources, a lot of different media, talk to different people. There's not just one source for learning a language. Having said that, you don't want to just pick a bunch of different ones and don't use any of them. Pick something, go hard with it. Let's take a look here. So again, this is Wanikani. So for Anki, I just did a Google search again. By the way, Google is a great Japanese learning resource in the sense it helps you find the best things. Just type in things you're looking for. So I typed in Anki shared decks. There are many decks that are shared and those have reviews on them that could be very useful to find the most useful ones. So Anki shared decks, click there. So all these different subjects, not just Japanese, you can learn through flashcards on Anki. It's an app you can get on your phone or on your browser or on your computer. So let's click on Japanese, of course. So these are the top rated shared decks. Very useful to see. 
So these ones here only have three votes, but they're all positive. Uh, in fact, Japanese Quest, you can see right here, four votes, if anyone else wants to vote on that. You can see Japanese Quest power level rising. Our power level list of the 20, 20 words we've learned, actually it's just the top thousand for right now. I still would like to update that. You can see thousand items, thousand cards we have for that Japanese Quest deck. And interesting, right after that, Wani Kani Kanji practice is right after our deck in the rankings. You can see more votes, but I guess one down vote. But the top voted of everything, it's the most popular deck, Japanese Core 2K, sorted with audio. So the reason this is the most popular from what I've heard, I haven't used it. There's sentences, there's audio, and it's 2,000, the 2,000 core words you need, the most common words in Japanese. Let's click on that. So here's the description. The way I use the deck, one, Read the vocab word in my head. Ask myself if I know what it means. Two, read the sentence in my head and ask myself if I know what it means. And then three, flip the card to check if I've got the meaning and reading right. So the cool thing on these decks, you can see what the cards look like, what information. I guess this isn't exactly what the card looks like. It's a lot of information, but you see the main details. You have the word sabishi, lonely. So I'm using Rikaikun to read this with my browser. By the way, Rikaikun, also a great resource for learning Japanese. You can read any website with Rikaikun, or some people probably like better Yomichan, I believe is another one. Um, so, Sabishi, lonely. You've got that vocab, you've got the meaning, lonely. You've got the audio. Let's see if you can play that. Sabishi. There you go. And then uh, we have it in a sentence too. So it's a, so a sad song, isn't it? You see it in English, this is a sad song. And then, so for the core 2,000 words that you need, they have it in this deck. But of course, on Anki, they have many decks, many decks, which is why this is a strong resource. It's very, it's very flexible. You can make your own deck. And there's guides online how to do that. You could Google that. So Japanese core has the top two slots. This one has images as well. So you can have images. Um, for hiragana, some people use this to learn hiragana as well. Very high upvotes on learning hiragana through Anki. Uh, again, the 2K, see how popular that is. Human Japanese. Not sure exactly what that is, but I've heard about human Japanese as being very popular. So this is what the Anki version of that. It looks like they have sentences. Uh, you can look at the reviews to see why people like it. It's such an awesome deck. Very easy to understand. Recommend for absolute beginners. So some great reviews here. The problem with Anki, as you can see, this looks a little confusing. It sometimes helps to look at a YouTube video to help you get started with how to use Anki most efficiently. So let's look at the other top decks. Wani Kani, the ultimate Wani Kani deck, all 60 levels, updated mnemonics. Huh, this seems a bit questionable in terms of copyright, because you think Wani Kani has the copyright on that, and they, they, you have to pay for that content. But I guess Wani Kani might be okay with it. In a way, they, it's an advertisement for Wani Kani. Let's just take a look, combining Wani Kani and Anki. So here you have words, you have a sentence, and you have some stories to help remember the kanji. Ah, so this is based kind of on vocab. Interesting. So again, some of these combine directly. Wani Kani and Anki combined here. It's so all kanji in one deck. So how many kanji are we talking? So we have 307 kanji from Hisig's two books. I actually went through those two books myself and learned these 3,000 or so kanji. And I used this deck. It went through all the kanji. You can learn all the kanji with stories for them a deck I can personally recommend. Uh, the other decks that I used back in the day, not this one, but other decks like it, JLPT N5 vocab deck. I used a vocab deck for N1 and N2 when I was studying for those tests and it helped me pass both of those 
JLPT test. Let's go back to the game. See what people have to say about it. What does the scouter say about his power level? Power level is still 2020. That will be rising soon as we play more games in Japanese. So let's see. Omegon. Again, a combination is the best. Anki and another source that you like is a good combination, says Raphael. It's unfortunate Anki's not free on iOS. Yeah, but I guess they have to make money somehow, but it is unfortunate. It's good that it's at least free in a lot of different ways. I suppose on iOS, you could theoretically use the web app for free, I would think. So Yomi-chan can be integrated into Anki, but it's complicated to set up. Ah, interesting. Yomi-chan, again, is a, a browser reader for any Japanese websites. So Omegon says, since you use RTK book for the extra kanji, did you find the kanji useful? To be honest, I feel like it was not so necessary. I think just doing the first RTK book might have been the best use of time, to be honest. But I love the process so much, I wanted to do the other one. So if you enjoy it, I'd say keep going. But my experience with reading and learning words after that, I feel like many of those kanji, I could have just learned them in context rather than with RTK. Because there's like 50 words for different kinds of flowers and grasses and reeds. You don't need all those and you will not probably remember all those. A mic level's a bit low? Hmm. So Taylor says, I enjoy Wani Kani. Let me look. Did something happen with my mic? I'm going to look at my sound levels here. Huh. Well, it looks like it's probably high enough. How is our sound level, do people think? Um, so Taylor says, I really enjoy Wani Kani. My issue is that it can become overwhelming with the pile of kanji. The mic sounds okay for me. Yeah, I'm looking at my sound levels. It's even a, a little bit yellow, so it, in a way, it could actually be too loud, potentially. It's not red, but... Okay, good to hear. So let's go back and check on our halftime show, see who's winning the media battle for best Japanese media for learners between Yotsuba and Animal Crossing. And let's check on who is currently winning the Benkyo Bowl between Genki, Taekim, Wanikani, and Anki. See if Wanikani is still ahead. Okay, it looks like Wanikani is still way ahead. Pretty much everything else is tied. It's impressive. Let's look at the uh, other poll. Ooh, currently tied. Very close between these two. Interesting battle. So we are 50-50. Five votes for Yotsubato. Five votes for Animal Crossing. Check us out. Japanese Quest on Twitter to make your vote. We are currently tied. So what? Let's make that uh, in chat. I'll link it again so we can try to break this deadlock for this Benkyo Bowl. So find the Japanese Quest Twitter, make your vote. So they are currently tied. So it seems like this will be a much more difficult battle, it's starting to look like, than the Benkyo Bowl itself. And again, reminding if you want to see all the nominees in 10 categories, you can click on this. The best Japanese resources that currently exist 2020. The culmination of that is this final battle, Benkyo Bowl, and it looks like Wani Kani, the votes will keep going for the next 23 hours or so, so it could change, but it's looking like most likely the winner of Benkyo Bowl 2020 will be Wani Kani. So if someone after watching this is inspired, wants to find that website, find Wani Kani, uh, the first three sections, what are they called? Chapters. Uh, lessons you can do for free, see if you like it. It seems like through the gamification, through the ease of use, Wani Kani has won this first ever Bankable 2020.
at least so far, the game will continue. Unlike the real Super Bowl that's happening later today around, what, 7 o'clock? This Thank You Bowl will go on for a full day. The stream, of course, will end before that pretty soon here. Let's Thank go you. back to chat. What does the say about his power level? And let's get that tweet back on the screen. And yeah, remember, a lot of these resources do work well together. But interesting to see what the winner will be. Ah, Take Him just jumped ahead. Take Him is now in second place in the Benkyo Bowl. Let's see if I can scroll down and possibly see the voting there. We can only see three, but that's okay. Let's keep it like that for now. So let's look in chat there. Uh, Omogun says, doing 20 each day is much, e much easier than trying to get to 2,200. Do you mean for Wani Kani, you do 20 a day? I'm not sure what that comment means exactly, because you could do RTK for 20 a day. So JHO says, anyone played Animal Crossing? Have anything to say about it? Good question. Yeah, I haven't played it either, but the new one's coming out soon. Cabbage says, I did play Animal Crossing, not in Japanese. Remember the dialogue would be fairly simple, talking about, not sure if I know that word, but stuff about kind of living in a town, living with a, a farm, right? I learned a new Japanese word today. Ah, kotadian. Yeah, I don't know that word either. Can someone define that word for us? Uh, can power up in, ja in uh, English today. So in Animal Crossing, a good way to learn, practice Japanese. Uh, it seems like it's a pretty good first Japanese game to play. If you want to play a Japanese game, it seems like a pretty good one to start. A new one's coming out for Switch, I think, in March, maybe? So Dorm says, Wani Kani will dump 100 or so on you when you finish a level. You get big spikes. Uh, Cabbage says that word, Kotadian, is like mundane stuff. So yeah, it's kind of about everyday life kinds of things. Yeah. I feel like I have seen that word, but uh, I've seen it, s if I have seen it, so infrequently that it seemed like a typo. <laughs> Not a word I've ever seen on Twitch, that's for sure. Cabbage, thank you. You can make people's power level in English go up today. Your power level in a language is how many words you know in that language. Our power level can go up in Japanese you can go up in English too. So Wani Kani's still ahead, but it seems like the gap is closing a little bit between Take Him and Wani Kani. So if this gets more retweets and goes wider, who knows? This could get to to be a closer race in this Benkyo Bowl. Uh, Omegon is saying, no, I mean for RTK, I can control the rate of pro progress with RTK. Right. It's probably more used in French and Spanish, but also exists in English. Ah, I see. So is your first language French or Spanish? That makes sense. So Wani Kani still ahead at 40%. But this could change. So even after our stream, you can continue to follow Benkyo Bowl on Twitch. I'm curious to be who will be the winner. We'll announce the winners on Twitch around 24 hours from now. And if people like this, people like enjoyed Benkyo Bowl, who knows? Just like the Super Bowl, we could do it next year. We could consider doing it every year here on Japanese Quest. Of course, the first round, simply to find the best Japanese resources that exist in different categories. And then a final round, the Benkyo Bowl, between some of the most popular resources to find the winner. Yeah, NetForce, that is the way I have seen it in English. Thank you for writing that, because I have seen that word. That makes more sense now. It's like, I have not seen that word. I've definitely seen that word in English. Good, I feel less like I'm smoking something now. 
So Raphael says, said, I, uh, I like the Yokai Watch as a resource too. Yeah, that was on the poll, and it had some votes for the best starter video game. So it's simple, situated in a little town, and they have Pudigana. It's a good suggestion there. Gamer Buddy says, Bankable is an interesting way to see how everyone uses common resources. Yeah, I agree. I'm glad that some people enjoyed Bankable. Yeah, if you want to make any comments about if you'd like to have a Bankable 2, possibly January next year, the same day as the Super Bowl, we could possibly do it again next year if people enjoy it. Could be something to consider. If people consider to vote on it on Twitch, we could possibly do it again next year. I feel like at the very least, the first round, finding the most useful resource for people in the different categories, that certainly seemed worth doing. It seems to have been helpful for people. Thank you, Bowl 2021. So Cabbage, Gamer Buddy are voting for Thank you, Bowl 2021. We'll see. If we get a few more votes here or on Twitter later, people seem to enjoy it. We can possibly do Benkyo Bowl next year, too. I generally do watch the actual Super Bowl every year. With my family. So sometimes maybe doing other things with family before. But if I'm not, possibly Benkyo Bowl could be something of a Japanese quest tradition going forward. Taylor says Benkyo Madness. <laughs> Benkyo Madness in March. There's an idea. Yeah, one thing we do on Japanese Quest, we the main thing we do is teach Japanese through games, but of course we also do other experiments with Japanese learning, other experiments with language, just ways to have fun with language and have a studying of language. So that's the goal here with Benkyo Bowl today. I feel like a good way to end Benkyo Bowl is picking up this star fragment. You can imagine this is an actual, I don't know, bowl with a star fragment in it. I didn't set up drawing on Japanese Quest. Maybe I will set up drawing now if I can. So I can draw a Benkyo Bowl to end with here. Let's see if I can set this up. Not sure if this will work, so bear with me here. I've got a kitty kind of battling me too, so I'm wrangling a kitty, so bear with me there. Looks like our drawing is working. Oh good, now the kitty's on the actual TV. Mesmerized by the drawing here. <laughs> Take a look at this kitty actually. I'll put it in my the kitty cam. So the kitty cam here is looking at the screen as I draw on the screen. So you can see I'm drawing on Windows Paint. This kitty is fascinated by it. Look, I draw over here. The kitty looks over here. I draw over here. The kitty looks over here. So let's draw a bowl for Benkyo Bowl here. <laughs> that star fragment was about right here, right? So let's make a Benkyo Bowl. It can just be like a kind of a bowl of rice. But in addition to that rice, you have a star fragment. This is Benkyo Bowl. Let's shade our Benkyo Bowl. This is a serious Benkyo Bowl here. Okay, let's go back to the game. Vegeta, what does the scouter say about his power level? Okay, is that going to line up properly? No, it will not. I must redraw our Benkyo Bowl. Because we've got to end this... First ever Benkyo Bowl right if we're going to have a second one. So Omadon says, should have a Japanese Quest draft later in the spring as well. A draft? A draft for what exactly? We did do a draft once. Maybe let's make this Benkyo Bowl red so we can see it against the contrast of this star fragment. So we have a bowl here. we got the star fragment in the bowl. course three-dimensional but you can see the star fragment through it as well 
It is shining. You can see what it's called there. Hoshi no Kakeda. Kakeda means like a shard. Hoshi means star, so it's a star fragment, a shard of star. And what we can do is this verb toru, to take it. So you could say, Hoshi no kakere, kakera o toru, to take the star fragment. So I think we will end this first ever Bankyo Bowl here. You can continue to vote online on Twitter. So I will say, ja, matane. And I will see you next time on Japanese Quest. Next time we'll be playing most likely Dragon Quest XI and learning Japanese from it. So, ja, matane. See you next time. The Benkyo Bowl, you can see it there. Well, let's see who wins it. Right now, Wani Kani still in the lead. This can change. So, at the bottom here, we will link our Twitter. Ah! Yokozo! Japanese Quest away. Daddy Hedu. Welcome. So, check out our Twitter. Vote on Benkyo Bowl. The results can still change. Gamer Buddy. Yokozo! Japanese Quest away. Anyone who joins can be a party member as well on this Japanese Quest, a journey through Japanese language. I'm a Japanese teacher. So feel free to become a party member as well if this is your kind of role-playing game through Japanese games, through life as well on this Japanese quest. So, ja, matane, see you next time. Japanese quest will continue, and Benkyo Bowl will continue for the next 22 hours or so. Japanese quest on Twitter, find it, vote, and then see who wins. Ja, matane, Japanese quest will continue. See you next time. Let's raid someone, though. I was hoping that... Huh, who can we raid? Huh, I was thinking that Game Grammar would be streaming. Are they not streaming right now? It kind of surprises me. Uh, I guess we need to... Is there anyone else? Can you correct me if I'm wrong? Is Game Grammar streaming right now? I thought they would be. I thought that they'd normally go at this time. They are. Why are they not on my indicator then? Okay, we're just we're gonna raid game grammar. And uh, I will say start raids or join our raid. Game grammar also teaches Japanese through Japanese games. We are raiding game game grammar today. Uh, boss, Yokozo, Japanese quest away. So join us on this raid. Tell them about Benkyobol. They can vote on it too, because the Spanky Bowl is still going for the next day or so. Um, I will say raid now. So, ja! Matane, see you next time. Japanese Quest will continue.